So last week I shared a preview of this app right here that I'm building, and it's an AI powered lab work analysis app. And when I started it in cursor, it wasn't a serious project. It was really just for a little quick demo of how to use the Figma MCP server in order to make a landing page, right? Um, and when I did the demo project before recording, you know, it built it, it was great, whatever. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna actually try to build this thing and make this thing a reality. And in doing so, I completely forgot to create the all important cursor rules file, right? Like Claude has their own Claude MD file. Um, you know, where you're supposed to, you know, give it directions, you're supposed to have it explain every feature and all this stuff. And that gets passed in to every new context, every new chat that you start. And I forgot to do that. And I just kept on going on and then I realized, oh, I didn't do that, but you know, things are going good so far. I'm just not going to bother with that stuff. So what I would do is every time there's a new feature, I would create a new chat, meaning it's a fresh context, and I would give it the instructions. So typically, if you have your cursor rules file and it's supposed to be there you know, at the start of every chat, then that is also passed into the context. And what I found is that I didn't need it. In fact, my previous attempt at a SaaS, which is the YouTube AI powered analytics app, you know, that had, you know, the cursor rolls filed and everything was scaffolded. Well, I hit a wall at some point and I just kind of put that project on the back burner. And I'm sure this has happened to a lot of people. The more complex an app gets, the more difficult it is for the AI to integrate features and change features. So in this app, lab coat, I didn't do the cursor rules file. And as the project became more complex, I found that it was still working well, despite not having the cursor rules file and all these requirements that have to get passed into the context. And so I made this observation on X a few days ago, and it seemed to resonate with a lot of people. It turns out that you don't need all this additional context every time you start a new chat and try to integrate a feature. And that's because it's known that the more context or the more tokens you fill up in the context window for a given chat, whether this is cursor or Claude or whatever, the more difficult it is for the AI to do exactly what you want it to. It kind of reminds me of this meme right here, where at the beginning, you have your beginner who doesn't know anything about cursor, cursor rolls, and then at the end, you have somebody over here who just doesn't give a crap either, and that's me right now, because I understand now, you don't need all that extra context, at least when it comes to the current AI tooling. So I would suggest, if you're having a hard time, like if you're currently building an app right now, just scrap all of the cursor rolls that get passed into every new fresh context window, and just be very specific about what your features are. That's the other part of the equation. So cursor has a new plan option, a plan mode, and I do use that. So if there's a bigger feature, then I have it plan it out first, and then I have it build that plan once we agree on certain things. That's the only thing I tend to do. I don't have the cursor rules file, I don't have all this extra context that gets passed in, and I would suggest utilizing that and seeing how far you can take because a lot of other people seem to also resonate with that idea. This is just a quick tip I wanted to throw out there for today's video because I think it's a really important way of using AI to build projects and get you over that finish line when you have these moderate to more complex apps, kind of like Lab Coat right here as you've seen. So anyhow, I'm going to be sharing a lot more progress on this, especially because I, I wanna release it soon in some capacity. I have to worry about HIPAA and all that stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys all very soon. Goodbye.